Visual Intelligence's data conversion feature makes it easy to change a text string to a date object. In this tutorial, we will manipulate a text string column to follow a date format and then use the Convert to Date feature to alter the column to a date object. Hi, and welcome to the tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to show you two new date conversion features. This scenario uses support ticket data from a fictional company. I'm going to deselect the measure as we'll create it from a derived calculation in a moment. In this data set, I know that I have some date fields. However, for some reason, one of my date objects is being detected as a string. Creation date. If you look here, ABC denotes this as a text string rather than a date object. If you see here, if I click on Show Semantic Detections, only Resolution Date is detected as a time object. So focusing on Creation Date, I can see straight away that there is an outlier. I can quickly correct this by replacing the dashes for a slash. There is also a value with a different year format. This I can edit out quickly. Now I'm in a position where I can convert this text string into a date object using the drop down arrow. Convert to date. I'm doing this because I want to enrich this column and turn it into a time hierarchy. I need to select the correct format. Day day slash month month slash year year. Now I'm being proposed two semantic enrichments, both my date objects. This is what I expected. I'm going to rename them for simplicity. Now you notice I haven't got any measures in my data set. The calculation I want to do is the difference between creation date and resolution date. To do this, I go to the formula bar and I type in the following formula. The function I want is date related. And as you can see, when I type in D, I get proposed date difference in days, start and end. It's exactly what I want. Then I define my start date, in which case the object creation date. and my end date, resolution date. I'm choosing the hierarchical objects, then click Do It. After clicking Do It, you'll notice that I am proposed another semantic enrichment. As you can see, it's my measure. I click Enrich. I'm going to rename it Total Duration. Now I'm going to switch to Visualization window. I've created a simple chart with total duration. And I've created a line chart with a running average. This kind of data lends itself well to box plots because it shows the maximum and minimum and also the median and quartiles. Congratulations, you successfully used the convert to date feature and the difference in days formula.